Hello everyone. Here in this video, we are going to find the twisting couple on a cylinder or wire. Consider a cylindrical rod whose one end is clamped or fixed and the other end is kept free. Now, twist the free end by means of a couple in this plane perpendicular to the length of the rod. Now, the rod is said to be under torsion. A rod under torsion develops a restoring couple. This is due to the elasticity of the material. And this restoring couple is equal in magnitude but opposite to that of the applied external force. And this restoring couple is also called as torsional couple. At equilibrium, this restoring couple balances the external applied couple. Now we are going to find the expression for this twisting couple. So here I am taking a rod of length L, let it radius B R. I am taking a reference point in the cylindrical rod A. B A be the longitudinal line drawn on the cylindrical surface. When I twist the rod, that is uh, when I twist the free end by, by an angle theta, this OA now shifts to a new position OA prime. So, because of the twist through an angle theta, the position of A now shifts to the new position A prime. So, OA now shifts to OA prime. But as this end is fixed here, B remains the same. So, theta is the angle of twist here. Theta, angle of twist. The longitudinal line BA sheared through an angle phi to the new position B A prime. Now, imagine the cylinder to be made up of number of hollow coaxial cylinders which is kept one inside the other. Let us take one such hollow cylinder having radius x and thickness dx. From the geometry of the figure we can have a a prime. Here in this um, a o a prime a a prime is equal to x into theta a a prime is equal to x into theta likewise here in this triangle a b a prime a a prime will be a a prime it will be l into phi so, L phi equal to x theta. So, from this we can get phi equal to x theta by L. We know that the rigidity of the material theta is equal to shearing stress by shearing strain. Which is by phi. So, shearing stress equal to eta phi which is equal to eta x theta by L. The force that produces this stress is
stress into area in which the force acts which is equal to eta x theta by L into area is cross sectional area here that is 2 pi x dx. So, so which is equal to 2 pi eta theta by L into x square dx. The moment of this force about the cylinder is is 2 pi eta theta x square dx by L into x. So, this is equal to 2 pi eta theta x cube dx by L. So, this is just for the this hollow cylinder. So, for the entire cylinder we need to integrate between limits 0 to r. So, for entire cylinder this is equal to 0 to r 2 pi eta theta by L x cube dx. This is equal to 2 pi eta theta by L x raised to 4 by 4 0 to 0 to R. Which is 2 pi eta theta by L R raised to 4 by 4. So, which is equal to pi eta theta r power 4 by 2 L. This can be written as C into theta where C is equal to pi eta r is to 4 by 2 L. So, this gives the couple per unit twist of the cylindrical rod or it is called as torsional couple or torsional rigidity of the material. If the cylinder is hollow then it will be having internal and external radius. Let internal radius be R1 and external radius be R2. Then the moment of external couple is R1 to R2 2 pi eta theta by L x cube dx. This is equal to 2 pi eta theta by L x raised to 4 by 4. R1 to R2 which is equal to 2 pi eta theta by L into R2 raised to 4 by 4 minus R1 raised to 4 by 4. 
So this gives the moment of external couple in the case of hollow cylinder. So using this we can find the twisting couple of a cylindrical rod. Thank you.